a former first lady who now wants to be president. Nana Konadu Ajiman Rawlings will run in November's poll as leader of the National Democratic Party. Voters will look at the objectives of the NDP and realize that we are trying to restore discipline into this society. We are trying to bring back probity and accountability, have a le some level of social justice, the higher the better, but most importantly, to cut back on the corruption that is eating up this country. Those objectives will be familiar to those who followed the presidency of Ajiman Rawlings' husband, Jerry Rawlings. He came to power in Ghana in the late 70s, first by a popular coup, later by democratic election. Rooting out corrupt officials was a hallmark of his early leadership. But Ajiman Rawling says if she became president, she would approach things differently. He has his way of doing, uh, of doing this stuff. I definitely have my ways of um, achieving, even, even if it's the same thing. I have a different way of um, achieving it. Um, I would say clearly to everybody that I will not be an appendage of him, but it's important always to try and tap from a historical, someone who's been there before. More and more women are trying to enter Ghana's political landscape, and they're having some success. The current government has the highest ever number of female ministers. But when it comes to members of parliament, well, there, females are still in the minority. Under 15% of MPs are women. So does Adiman Rawlings really believe that Ghana is ready and willing to vote for a female president? We are 52% of the population and the 48% are the ones who have been running the, the country. Nobody asks them whether uh, we as Ghanaians want to have another man. Why are we asking the 52% if they would be prepared to have a woman as a president? There is still six months to go before the election, but here in Ghana, the fighting talk has already begun. Katerina Potosi, CCTV, Accra, Ghana.